a sea of mixed mag it says organizers of Asia Tracy gig in Manchester find ten thousand pounds. Ten thousand. The rapper made an appearance at an impromptu gig at Play F at Platfields Park on Sunday. I seen a few people do this. I saw a video of Dappy from N Dubs doing a similar sort of thing where you kind of go in a car and just perform on top of it and have people running down the side of the street and then he stopped somewhere where there's a screen and he was, you know, doing his songs, whatever it may be, some of his solo stuff that probably no one really knows too tough. But hey, um everyone's trying to do something in it because I guess if you're an artist, part of the reason why you perform or part of the reason why, you know, you record music is to perform it in front of a crowd and to kind of get that, you know, that vibe and that energy back. And there's just no amount of live streaming is ever going to replace that. So I could definitely understand artists being at home, you know, cheesing and really kind of fiending to be out on stage and performing in front of their fans. But considering we're so close to things reopening in a really safe and legit way, it just seems like a waste of time and really does probably not worth the fine especially when you consider the fact that you know what was sold there a couple of t-shirts some cds whatever it may be there's no real big earning potential to earn that money back i doubt they even they probably spent more putting on the event right than than they did probably uh, having to pay the fine itself but hey i guess you have to do what you have to do it says here, organizers of AJ Tracy's gig in Manchester have been fined £10,000. The rapper made an appearance at an impromptu gig in Platfields Park on Sunday, drawing a crowd of hundreds, according to the local media. Final footage shows that the West London MC rapping along to a track played by a portable speaker during a pop up show hyping Tracy's new album, Flu Game. Which, again, imagine being signed to a record label as an artist and having to put out an album during a global pandemic, right? And then trying to promo it. It's just. Cause I imagine a lot of people like myself, even you know, again, I'm a DJ, so I, you know, I play music out and stuff, so I listen to a lot of things. But even my, you know, listening of music has really, really decreased during the lockdown. It's just you know the 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 the, the things that I do day to day in order for me to listen to stuff like going to the gym, going to work, da -da -da, moving around. They're just not happening as often as they would be, right? Because obviously things are not reopened to a level that they would be when life was back to normal. So that whole routine has been disturbed somewhat so i'm sure that's definitely affecting people's streams i guess if you're the bigger artist doesn't really matter you Taylor Swift, your drakes they're still probably streaming high high numbers but if you're people like aj tracy you need you need people to be outside for your music to bang right you need it to make sense of that because again i'm not really a big fan of the guy's music whatever but whenever i've been to Ghana, i've always seen him around right loitering walking around touching people being cool and just being a pretty level-headed chill dude so part of his basic appeal his brand is the fact that he's accessible in that regard so not having that accessibility and being able to put yourself front and center in front of your fans and remind them hey i'm still around i've got a new album coming out they must make it really difficult to promo stuff so this is probably a, a risk probably they would have worth taking right i'm assuming i hoped i would i would hope that they had some sort of agreement with the organizer and said hey if you get a fine we're gonna help you out and pay some of it too i'm hoping it's just not all left to him to pay or he or she whatever or they um but yeah I, I don't envy being an artist now during this time it's probably the worst and the best of times i guess in terms of acquiring fans is the best because you've got a chance to hit everybody because everyone's at home you know as long as you put music out on a consistent basis it's good quality people will maybe give you a chance but people have also fatigued right with the with the kind of stimuli that they're getting in they just want to you know go back to normal they're thinking about other things they've got other stresses in their mind i don't know whatever it may be they're not in the mood to discover stuff there's loads of stuff going on it's obviously got the supreme uh north face jacket on their call said so the rapper who made the appearance an improv gig the 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 fan footage shows the West London MC rapping onto a track. Um that's him. It's interesting that they somehow managed to create a stage and with security guards, got like six security guards there in the middle of a of a cage somewhere in Manchester, right? Trying to protect it and make sure everything's okay. <laughs> effectively it's a, it's a kind of complicit agreement you've just agreed to just not jump over but it's a public cage i can just go wherever i want you know what i mean but they've somehow created this weird distance between the fans that's pretty cool to see he continues the lp was released on friday and elaborate grove star has been on the promo trail appearing on the jennifer ross show capital lecture and signing records in a branch of hmv in london he was reportedly in birmingham on sunday and was planning to visit bristol before the secret gig in manchester was shut down by police tracy took to twitter to shout out fans on birmingham and manchester before apologizing 
imaginative for the amount of people who turned up a platform's gig and conceded that a trip to Southwest would not be possible. So it's a calculated risk, isn't it? You know you're going to get a lot of backlash. You know you're probably going to get cancelled online and you're just willing to take it. you got your apology already lined up like Rita Ora already typed up and stuff. He did a video and you're ready to go. Here he is apologising to everybody. Yo, people, listen. Big love, Manny and Bram. Thank you for coming out um, and copying some CDs and whatnot and showing some love, but it's not going to be safe for me to come to Bristol. I didn't expect that many people to turn up in Manny and genuinely, yeah, man, it's just not okay for me to go ahead. So I'm going to head home to London. But um, yeah, man, I appreciate you lot showing support. And when it's safe to do so, I'm definitely going to come back and do some shows. So yeah, man. Big uh, Andy Berman, the mayor of Manchester, has confirmed the organisers of the gig have been fined £10,000 for breaching the COVID lockdown rules. Fixed penalty notices have also recently been issued to an equipment supplier of the organisers of a rave and a crowd of people who attended the rave in the disused vault. Bank, but sorry, large scale outdoor events are due to resume on June 21st. Again, not really worth the risk, but again, maybe it is. Really, maybe it is. Because what else are you meant to do in terms of promo? People aren't really checking or listening to your stuff like that. Because this feels like to me, like desperation. It feels like to me for that depression because I'd imagine with the dearth of flipping artists available now at the moment, especially in the UK, I'd imagine, I don't know, it depends on how much, how much does AJ Tracy actually stream? I don't know. I don't really listen to his stuff. Maybe he's super popular, but this does seem a bit desperate. It does seem like somebody really wanting to make sure that people know that his album is coming out, um, especially his fans wanting to make sure because the the best thing about when things are, re when things, when life is back to normal, the best thing is that you get the chance to, you know get someone like myself that doesn't really check for his music i might actually check for it because you know i'm about i'm in a shop his stuff's playing in top shop it's playing, about whatever you know you just happen to you see a post to someone sure this right that's what he's hoping for because his fans are always going to purchase his stuff but in times like this i'm assuming some fans are maybe not paying attention or not aware you drop stuff because you know how many albums have dropped and you've forgotten about you have no idea released especially if you're not paying attention and you're not on people's pages like that whatever it may be it's just easy for things to just slip by the wayside so he's having to really kind of make sure he reminds his fans hey i've got things coming out and also creating a bit of content to be so it can go viral so it can catch someone like myself who's not a fan of his work to be to get kind of you know, to get my attention be like oh shit he's got something coming out you know add on spotify about Blah, blah, blah maybe buy a ticket for sure so it's a very much um like i mentioned it's a it's not a position i envy um again you know you're having to really come up with some clever interesting ways to kind of get people's attention in a time when you know people have got you know way bigger issues that they're probably worrying about you as well as an artist you don't want to be you know pushing yourself onto people too much i think most artists pure ones you know feel a little bit cringy when they have to kind of really go on the self-promotion you know super hard it always feels a bit disingenuous because you feel as if your work is good enough it should kind of get to the right people but that's not really what happens the truth of the matter is it kind of you you need a bit of payola you need a bit of kind of guerrilla marketing you need a bit of selfless self-promotion to really get your stuff out there if you don't do that you're just gonna be crickets so you know again uh i have a lot of sympathy for the guy hope it works out for him hopefully they were in cahoots with the organizer in terms of paying the fine hopefully the organizer's probably age trace himself anyway right i'm assuming his label probably did it maybe for a third party but again man look, look what people are having to do during these strange times how it's affecting even some of our quote-unquote biggest artists here in the uk um they're really kind of feeling the strain of you know not being able to perform live and do things and sell merch and all that good stuff so hopefully things get back to some semblance of normality very soon very very soon